This time on Next Stop, we're going to head far out into the Philippine Sea to Apo Island. We'll explore the unique Philippine sport of muck diving and the small creatures. We'll see majestic turtles, do a lot of photography, blow a few bubbles, enjoy some sunny surface intervals, we'll do a little shopping at the Wednesday open air market in Darwin, and we'll taste a little bit of the uh, traditional Philippine Yum. cuisine. Good? Mm -hmm. Take it right to the banana leaf. diverse ecosystem. Uh, we got areas where there's sandy areas, you got patch reefs, you got solid reefs, you go over to Apo Island, you get the uh, one long continuous reef with walls and rip dives and all that. So that uh, gives us a big variety of critters to look at. Yeah. So in the reefs you'll get the usual suspects, you got all the reef fish there, anywhere from gobies to uh, bigger groupers a lot of turtles and sea snakes. In the sandy areas, you'll get the uh, more unusual stuff. So uh, you'll get the, uh, what they call critters, like uh, ghost pipe fishes, frog fishes, um, flamboyant bellfish, luring octopus, which is kind of rare, but they're there. Uh, different kinds of octopi, like uh, mimic octopuses, and wonder puss. Another thing is this area, uh, is protected by local, local law. So most of the dive sites that we go to, um, there's no fishing allowed in, uh, in those areas, which means there's more things for us to look at. Uh, it's good for us divers, it's also good for fishermen because it gives a place for um, uh, fish to spawn without being disturbed by fishermen and all that. Um, Apo Island is actually a uh, poster child for community-based marine, uh, marine protection. It's one of the first sanctuaries that's established in the Philippines that's fully managed by the local community. And uh, since then, a lot of other places have copied it. Sikihor, uh, very different from Apo Island as well. Uh, the, they've only started protecting Sikihor recently, so you don't get as much um, big stuff. But uh, the potential is definitely there. Sikihor has some very nice big walls, so you get very nice... Um, soft corals and sponges on the walls. You get a lot of overhangs over there. We can get um, spiny lobsters. Good place for our ribbon eels also. But yeah, it's different from uh, Apo Island, so it offers a different set of critters to look at as well. One thing unique about this area is the muck diving. Uh, I know it's not the most popular kind of diving, but it's, it's starting to get more, um, more known to the divers. So we get, actually get a lot of um, serious photographers come here with a bucket list and uh, most of the time yeah the bucket list gets a uh, couple of things get chopped off the bucket list. this is winter time for us so it's coldest time of the year um right now with the wind blowing from the northeast we're in the windward side so it can stir up um bottom sediments a little bit and it has been raining uh in the evenings a couple of nights so that uh that doesn't do any good for visibility but yeah, this is about normal for this time of the year. And then it clears up? It clears up uh, 
usually best visibility is around April, May for us. Souvenir shopping on Apo Island is a very unique experience. Because it is so shallow near the shore, the boats can't get in. So the local women, they bring out all the goods uh, right to the boat. They get on there and it is like a feeding frenzy on our boat. Uh, the sister ship there that's tied up to us, they, uh, they've already done their feeding frenzy and now they're relaxing in the sun, enjoying a beautiful day and a beautiful surface interval. The next morning we loaded up into a private jeepney and headed into town for the Wednesday open air market. It was a little bit soggy, but uh, hey, we had a great time and the, uh, the weather let up in just a matter of a couple of minutes. You notice that there's a ton of mopeds and motorcycles uh, throughout the Philippines and a little bit of rain doesn't scare these folks at all. In fact, the average household I heard has like three mopeds or motorcycles. A big part of visiting the Philippines is checking out how these people live clear across the other side of the world. It is like a ton of fruits and vegetables and knickknacks, fish, um, toys, everything. Fish. Yeah. You gotta get the fish is amazing. Yeah. Mackerel. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Tuna. In small towns and provinces, refrigeration is more of a luxury than a necessity. There's a much slower pace of life and people everywhere are just happy. They're just happy to be hanging out and subsistence farming, fishing, and uh, enjoying life. We were just amazed at how ingenious people were in moving everything around on the island in small vehicles and carts. And this Wednesday market here in Darwin is so well attended, everybody's happy and they're bringing out fresh stuff, they're bringing out cooked stuff, bringing out uh, cattle here, clothes, everything you can imagine is out here at the Wednesday market. For, uh, one for Natalie and one for Jill at work, one for me. Walking through, uh, <laughs> walking through the Wednesday market and uh, man, there is a ton of food and stuff and the, and the smells are well, the smell. kind of overwhelming. <laughs> Sometimes it's... Yellowtail. Okay. Just going to yellowtail. Okay, thank you. While we were at the market, the Atlanta staff arranged for us to have an authentic 
uh, local meal with uh, a lot of the, uh, the stuff that is available there at the market. You got, there's more. We have plenty. It's delicious. Come on, do it again. Well, actually, it's not bad. Right. Really, really it's good. just the it's texture bad, it's, um, stuff. It's a texture it's thing? A, it's or? a raw tuna. Try a sticky rice. It's good. Okay. It's a... Uh, Kind of a salty, very salty taste. Kind of like fish from the sea salt taste. Yes, those are good. Mm -hmm. I bought a lot for my room last time. I never mm -hmm. ate it. Nice. With the onions. Okay, the, uh, it, it's, it's working. Very, okay. very good. It is working. Uh, okay. And we have some fish over here that's what? cooked. Pork, right there. more mango. Ceviche. Ceviche, great. Ceviche. But the only saw we were swimming next to this yesterday. It's probably some of our friends from yesterday. The fishies. Okay, one, two, three. Mm. Can I get? Oh, look at uh, one big. Mmm. Got a little crunch to it. It's salty. Um. Kind of like salty worms. Yeah. Not, <laughs> salty worms. Not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Not my favorite, but you know, definitely edible. Lori, what are you eating over there? I have myself some seaweed. Um, I guess. Is it delicious? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Lori. I'm going to. He's trying to. Okay, I'm going to give this a try. This is uh, sea cucumber and something eggs. Sea hair. Sea hair eggs. No, I have no, those are so cute. Mm. They're probably a little bit mm. than California. Um, no? You know what I mean? It doesn't get the um. You do it. It's like crunchy escargot. It's kind of it's, slimy and crunchy. It's kind of, yeah, it's, it's very slippery. Very slippery, but yet very um, uh, abalone. Rissly. And. Um, and it's just, it tastes like salt. Garden. Yeah. Oh, you took the whole thing. All right, Bob. <laughs> now, it doesn't hit you for about 30 seconds. We're about a mile seconds. from home and we ran all the way home. So you'll take another bite. We'll see you time for hours. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I'm doing okay right now. Uh, no. I think you need <laughs> no to do issues. more. Is that the green or the red? I need the red too. She saw it. You, oh my gosh, you burn your mouth off. Huh? Yeah, I'm looking okay. at her. Oh, see, now I got a seed. <laughs> <laughs> I got a seed that time, and yeah. It's, it's Can you have this hot. pork over here? You want this? It's really not that bad. The what? The pork. Okay, I'm a whip. Town are we in now? Dowin. 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 Dow